this oak comes out right here. Leans out toward the house pretty strong. We're gonna pull it over with non-power tools out here. He likes his dogwoods and I can see why they're perfect. Another one there. We need to put this backwards against the lean up here. But before we do that, we got this thing in the way. What are you thinking? <laughs> I'm not thinking anything yet. All right. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Why? I just wanted to clarify it. Which I don't know one how to which do one that. was it? It's just bam bam bam. Okay. Or we could do it Asian style. You seen them? <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay. Wait, hold on, I had to close my that eyes because I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know what you got. <laughs> I don't, okay. He's already cheating. You see that? <laughs> no. Okay, three, two, one. See, he cheated. Oh, no. did you do the same thing? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Now. You know what? I ain't doing that Asian <laughs> Yeah. That's messed up. Okay. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. It's not binding now. <laughs> oh, that's my rebuttal. You can see the lean no, back to will be pulling line. not quite yeah, totally opposite. It's hard for me to justify, because you know. it has a lot of weight then, this way too. We have a nice high shot that he he made with the throw ball, so that means we can cut a higher stump. Which, if there is decay in the bottom, will get us into better wood. Not only that, but we need to shorten this canopy up a little bit because it's quite tall. And we don't want to do too much crashing around out there. Although we have license to crash in that direction. No license for dogwood destruction or other alliterations like sugar pine okay. shredding. What? Do they know that the higher we go on our face cut, the less leverage we get for a pull? Or did you talk about that? I didn't explain it, but I well, we said have it. We a really high pole, so it's like. Yeah, I told him we got a high pole, so that means we can go for a higher stump. And Damien's wanting me to explain that. You have more leverage when you're pulling from a higher place. So if you're pulling significantly high, you can move the tipping point up, meaning make a higher stump and still have adequate leverage for what we need to do to overcome the amount of weight and lean in the direction that we don't like it. How's that? Sounds about right. Okay. <laughs> I believe you. You know, I actually don't do as good a job unless you're here. So the, you don't do as good I, I mean, explanation wise, I really believe that more people working together is is way smarter than you know one guy just trying to figure it out or on, his, on his own. Yeah, it is because watch this. Tell okay. me if you can give any advice on where I'm gonna. Oh, this, we right? saw <laughs> it. We we watched. Sorry if you can... I'm just gonna hook <laughs> this down here. Would that be right? No. With the rope going straight up. No, sir. Okay, so we're gonna want to go a little about as high as we can then. If... If uh, we're cutting a little higher. 
Oh, the pom-pom end is one of my pet peeves. We gotta get some tape on that. Running bowling. And, a, and also, <clears throat> you'd wanna make sure it's coming directly down from where you're tying it because if it's pulling up that way and it gets tighter and tighter, it's not choking this way, so you could lose some. Uh-huh. But if I take it all the way this way and then choke it, I know it can only get tighter. Yep. I wonder For if the they viewers. understood that. You know, a lot of people already know it. For the I used to think that that's who I was talking to. That I was talking to everyone who already knows. And so I, I lacked energy to explain things because I thought everybody knows this. Do you see anything that should be done as an experienced <laughs> guy right now? So we will put a fair bit on it before we ever even make the face cut because the lean is... No. Oh heck yeah. Yeah that's moving the tree. And it's not too hard for you is it? No, it's not too bad. So this is from Stein. And we rarely use it because we always just do whatever we have to do with rope and not, not pulleys, but this makes it a lot smoother. That's definitely enough for the face cut. Yeah, I'll just, yeah, I'll just. So you're not going to use the progress capture? Okay. I don't think so. Is this part for the curious audiences I'm gonna attempt to explain what we've got using the throw line Damien has thrown up over a nice sturdy limb that's gone back at an angle like this and then we brought the rope all the way down and base tied it here so then we just put tension on it out there or yeah tension force out there now I'm confident I can make a face cut without losing, uh, starting to lose the tree this way. I mean, he's got a lot on it. See that bend? That big bend out this way? That's plenty. Okay, so that mechanical advantage out there is significant, even without a power winch or anything. So now I'll make the face cut. And then we'll have helmet communication hooked up. As I'm making the back cut, we'll be watching the top and seeing the movement. And we may have him pull some more as it's going, or we may have loaded it so much with the noodliness of the tree spar and the stretch of the rope that perhaps I'll be able to get it in there without more pulling as it goes. I think it's close. Like I, I expect we'll pull a little more because it leans back pretty far. So we'll we'll follow the line. I don't want to hit the shed, but the tree is weighted all this way. So I'm not really too worried about the shed. We'll we'll follow the line out this way. <laughs> Open face cut is going to make it not travel as far that way and it'll make the butt fall closer to the stump here let me show you something show you a little mistake I made on the top diagonal cut I cut a little too far past it see so I'm not going to correct that because I want this right here to be there so that I don't get the tree too far this way. So it's a little bit of a mistake, but I think it'll work out perfect. I never saw the cut close up, the face cut. 
So that's that face cut is halfway through and and the rope never the kerf on this side never tightened up like we were over pulling so we will be pulling more on the back cut Exactly dialed perfect. So what we were doing there is we were trying to use as much of this little avenue as we could, even though it's a little nerve wracking because the old shed, but it kept that stuff out of these woods. So now I'm going to talk about the stump a little bit because it's kind of interesting. It had a lot of canopy weight this way. Okay. So you'd think, well, we need wood on this side, but it had trunk weight that way. So it's about evened out. So pulling straight more or less against the, the lean, I was keeping this straight across until at the end there, I could tell I was gonna munch into those fir trees more if I kept it straight. So at the end, you saw me put it in there and cut this off which allowed the tree to drift this way, which allowed it to drop into that hole better. The only thing we were concerned about is that it would roll and break the corner of that shed, but it was pretty easy to read that it would be just right, I guess. That's the only way I can say that. That was good. So we ended up pulling, collapsing the, we ended up collapsing those pulleys all the way. That's a lot of pulling, but easy, right? You didn't pull too hard, right? No. As far as physical exertion. Might have been hard for some people. Ha ha. Monkey, people, dumb, dumb.